That's correct, WJ6F. In this video, we're going to be going over the GS5B from Radiotity. It's a 2 meter 440 radio with Bluetooth programming capabilities. We'll get to it right after this. All right, the Radiotity GS5B. Now, per the box, it's dual watch, dual push to talk, color screen, and USB charging. Let's take a look and see what's inside this box. Okay, what you get in the box, you get a desk charger, and it has the ability to charge with USB, or your regular 110, the cord for the charger, earpiece, including this FBI Secret Service attachment, a thank you card instruction manual, which is written in both English and German. And they did a really good job on this manual. It's easy to read, considering how some of the other Chinese radios can be really difficult to understand. Belt clip, wrist strap, and a programming cable, which is a really great touch. Nice that you don't have to buy one of those. And of course, you get the radio itself with antenna, 2000 milliamp hour battery, with the ability to also USB charge. Okay, starting with the left side of the radio. Top button is for your flashlight and your SOS light and signal. Now, this is probably the brightest little flashlight I've seen on any radio. Not sure what the story is behind the red and blue. I think just a regular white light would do fine. Then you have your two push to talks. This is for AFM radio. And it will kick you out whenever somebody's talking on another frequency. Several different icons on the top row here. It'll show your battery power. To show you if you've got any alarms, what power level, high or low, and your signal strength meter, as well as this meter here. It's all color. On the right side, for headphone, microphone, and programming. This is not a button, just keeps the whole radio body uniform. To remove the battery, you're going to have to unscrew it. They have it screwed in here because of the uh, water resistance and dust resistant that this radio is. It's not waterproof, but it'll handle some rain. And like I said before, you can charge it through USB from the back here. One of the other nice features on this radio is the signal strength meter. It's easy to read, works very well. Later on in the video, I'm also going to try out the regular stock antenna, the Nagoya NA771 as well as the DBJ-2 by Ed Fong to see how well this radio receives. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to program a simplex and a repeater using the software. When you get it all hooked up, go to settings, port, and make sure that you have a COM port selected where your radio is plugged into. Then read from the radio. And this moves rather quick, been pretty impressed with it. And enter your frequency. And once you tab or click over, it'll populate the rest of it. And you can change your power from high or low and wide or narrow. You can put up to 10 characters. And when using USB or the program, you can use capitals. If you're programming from the keyboard or changing a name, you cannot use capital letters. Now we'll try a repeater. And again, it populates everything. We don't need a receive tone for this, but we do need one for transmit, and that is 103.5. Make sure it's on high, wide, and then put in your title. 
Now once you have all the repeaters and things you want in there, you can go to Edit, Optional Feature, and this will bring up the menu if you need to change anything like timer output, your different scan modes. On scan mode, you have a choice of the TO, which is for time operation, CO, carrier operation, and SE, which is search operation. I'm gonna leave it for a carrier right now. And you battery save, change a lot of the things you want on here. Once you're done with everything and you're satisfied, you're gonna hit right and then start. Now when this gets to 100%, the little window will not automatically disappear. You gotta wait until you see success and then hit cancel. And once that's all done, you can go ahead and disconnect your radio and start using it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to program using Bluetooth. Just open your program. Make sure the Bluetooth is on. Hit connect. And this connects to the radio very quickly. Read from the radio. And once it's done, if you need to make any changes to the radio, just hit optional. That will give you the menus for everything. Pick the channel you want to store it in. In this case, we're going to do channel 25. Put in the channel name. Put in your receive frequency, which for this one is 44892. And then put in your receive. And if you have any kind of tone, which in this one we do, 91.5. You have your power here, high or low, and narrow or wide, and I won't wide. When you're done with everything, hit save. For me, I'm going to be replace the existing setting. I'm going to be using program one. If you're starting new, like say you want to have another state, you would use save as new setting, type in wherever you want. Like if I want to go visit my son out in the Dallas, Texas area, I can have a whole profile set up just for the Texas area. Hit save successfully saved then to get it back up to the radio go over to home and from the setting that they want you have to pick whatever profile you're going to use and then write and that's all there is to it for programming with the bluetooth one of the nice things about this radio is it has what's called quick sweep team function. What you do is you go into search operation SE, like I showed you in the programming. And what it'll do is, as it's scanning, it'll find a frequency that's in use. It'll pick out the frequency and the tones being used. This will allow you to join the conversation right away without having to search for things. And to scan with this radio, you can either press and hold the pound button It'll start scrolling through your frequencies. It'll stop when it hits a channel that's in use. Or you can press and hold either the up or down arrow. Now, as soon as you release, it'll stop. Okay, the first antenna we're gonna do is the stock antenna. And we're gonna use the MESAC repeater, which is about 14 or 15 miles from here as the crow flies. I also want to see how it sounds. Okay, now we're going to use the Nagoya antenna. I 
That going to sound a little quieter. Okay, now we're going to try the DBJ2. Okay, now that I've tried all three antennas, I really didn't notice much of a difference. And to me, considering that repeater was almost or about 15 miles away, I don't see any problem with how this thing receives. I had heard stories that it doesn't receive overly well, but what it does for what you pay for it, this is a fantastic radio. Really impressed with everything it does, especially that whole USB. I think the other companies are going to start following suit with this one. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe. And also, while you're there, click on that bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. And take a look at one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.